Hello, welcome to part three of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain what exactly are these extent reports. So let's get started. So what are extent reports? Extent reports, as explained in the previous sessions, are nothing but the third party reports. Selenium doesn't by default generate any reports, but Selenium projects with the help of TestNG will generate a default report known as TestNG report. But this default generated TestNG report is not used in real time. Hence, we have to go with some third party reports that have covered in the previous session, that is uh, extend reports and allure reports, okay? We have to use this third party libraries. Okay, here is a spelling mistake, let me correct here itself, okay? So as I mentioned, these are the famous and mostly used or widely used test automation reports, third party reports, that is extent reports and allure reports. But these are third party reports. This will not come by default with either Selenium or APM or TestNG or any other automation tools or frameworks, okay? So we have to add these libraries of these third party reports like extent reports or allure reports into our projects, then only we'll, we'll be able to use, okay? So why we have to use these extent reports? Extent reports, when compared to the default generated test ng reports are advanced reports they are very advanced guys okay so the way they show the details okay the execution results of the test automation scripts is very advanced okay lot of options lot of uh, lot of details like timings what, what configurations uh, we can customize lot of other options guys okay they are on the top of this advanced nature they are very beautiful guys okay compared to the test ng uh, default generated reports, they look some kind of old, but uh, extent reports look very beautiful. I'll show you in a while how the extent reports will look like. They contain more information, a lot of information in, uh, separated across a lot of tabs will be provided, guys. I'll show you practically how they contain more information when compared to the default uh, test ng default generated reports. And extent reports are supported not only by Java, but also the dot .NET. If you're working with Selenium, Java or Selenium, C-Shop, you can use extent reports. and how they look is a question, right? Now I was explaining all theoretical topics like advanced reports, beautiful, contain more information, support java.net, and these are third party reports and et cetera, et cetera, and how they are used in real time, how they are preferred in real time, but how they actually look is something I'm going to show you. This is a link that I will open in the, okay? Tab, you will see the a sample of extent reports, guys, okay? Anyhow, practically, I'm going to configure these extent reports with one of the Maven projects, and then I'll show you practically how this extent report can be gem generated. But before we get there, I want to show you a glimpse of, okay, a glimpse of the extent reports, how they look, okay, in real. So this is one example extent report, guys. It's not uh, from a project or something. This is an example extent report provided by the official website of the extent reports, okay? This is how it looks. So this is a first tab, uh, test tag, uh, test uh, tab. So which shows all the tests got that got executed as part of running the automation scripts in the project. First test got passed. Okay, the first test got passed and it has captured a screenshot. Okay, you can see the screenshot. If you click on the screenshot, you see, we have embedded the screenshot here. The screen, this report has some embedded screenshot and uh, yeah, that's all. And uh, the second test got failed guys. Okay, and some logs are displayed like info pass one, different type of logs are getting displayed. We can customize these logs, code block. Okay, we can get the code block. Lot of information guys. Okay, lot of information, lot of flexibility is there. Some tags related. This is related to some tag, my tag or something. So based on the tags, we can filter the tests. Okay, and authors based on the author, which author is running the automation scripts and which on which devices this automation scripts are running based on the device category uh, exception. Based on uh, like uh, if any specific exceptions are coming due to which the tests are failed, that exception details also can be displayed. Okay, so there is more to this. These are the different uh, things. Okay. Uh, you can click on this, like you want, only want to see the something that is passed. You can filter out like this, okay? You want to uh, filter by author, you want to filter by tag, that is my tag, or you want to filter by a device or a browser or whatever it is, okay? There is a lot of options provided, guys, okay? So you can even search here, guys, uh, search for uh, SC or something, screen capture will come. You can search also. You can go to the next tab. You can go to the next tab uh, where here, guys, only the things 
only the tests that got failed will be displayed in this. Uh, you see a bug kind of icon is there here. Here, all the tests, whether they are passing, failing, or whatever it is, they will be displayed here. But here, only the tests that got failed and the details of the exception. And you can actually navigate to this. Okay, click on this. You will be taken to this uh, main main tab actually. Okay, test tab. And this is exception related, uh, the failed related tests you can see. Uh, if you want to filter by using tag, you can click on this tab and you see only one tag is there. You can have many tags, okay? Based on smoke tests or whatever it is, uh, depends on your needs. Devices, if you're running your scripts on different browsers or whatever it is based on the different devices or browsers or environments, you can, uh, here only one device is there so you cannot see properly. Here, if multiple uh, authors are running this automation scripts on the whatever the automation script written by which author is failing okay the more uh, we can find out the which author the more of the automation scripts are failing we can find out if there are multiple authors writing the automation scripts in the project and after running it uh, most of the automation scripts from a particular author are failing then we can actually look into that okay that feature is also provided and here finally we have a dashboard here this is very important guys this is not there in general uh, default generated test engine reports but in extent reports this is something Okay, which is good. Analytics, you see, uh, managers or some high level people, they generally don't uh, refer to this kind of stuff. They want this an kind of analytics, like they want to see at a high level how many tests are failing, how many tests are passing, okay? Uh, and all this stuff like log events, uh, how many are passing, failing, uh, by author, by tags. This kind of high level report they want, but they don't want to go into the details. But this analytics will be very useful. On the top of that, we can customize a lot of stuff in this report, guys, that I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions, okay? For now, this much is the thing. Uh, there are other things, guys. There are other things also, like uh, here, uh, if you press P, only pass. Okay, shortcuts are there. Like, uh, if you press P, means only pass will come. If you press F, only failed test will come. Like that kind of shortcuts are also there in this report, guys. That's why I'm saying these advanced reports, and at the same time, it looks beautiful. Okay, when I compare this with the uh, test engine reports, if I show you one one of the test engine reports, default generated test engine reports, it looks very old, and it doesn't have any advanced features like shortcuts or analytics or whatever it is, or it's neither beautiful also at the same time. These are uh, this look very old, guys. Okay, when I compare this extent reports with the test ng reports, you see either the old theme or new theme are not up to the mark. But when compared to the extent, but when comparing this test ng with extent reports, extent reports looks very beautiful and it provides a lot of other okay advanced options and uh, separated across multiple tags and all those stuff. A lot of information, date, times, etc., statistics, analytics, everything is there. Logs, embedding of logs, screenshots, and also customization is also easy. So a lot of things about this extent reports I'm going to cover in the upcoming sessions, okay? So I covered all this stuff, what are extent reports in this session and a uh, few more topics are there. Uh, uh, and this this is this is going to be a big playlist, guys, okay, on extent reports. We are going to go slow and learn step-by-step step about the extent reports in a detailed and easy fashion in the upcoming sessions. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another extent reports topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.